Welcome to Pinch a Penny with Jenny. Hey everyone, welcome back to Pinch a Penny with Jenny. And today I'm actually going to talk about this little guy here, the Swiffer Wet Jet. So for those of you guys who have one of these, it's like a godsend. You There's a little button at the top, you push it and then it sprays liquid out and then you mop. And so Swiffer, you know, they're, they're really good with their business model. You know, you buy this the Swiffer wet jet, and then you have to buy replacement, replacement refills over and over again. And these go anywhere between $3.50 when they're on sale to $5 or $6 a bottle. Uh, and sometimes even more depending on which ones you get. And then they also sell these pads that um, are not reusable. This one is reusable. And I'm gonna talk about, I guess, the pad and then also this and how you can save money by not buying their version of the refills, but instead kind of making your own. So this little guy right here, um, it has a Velcro backing and you can purchase this for pretty inexpensive on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the video description. Um, but this, this little guy, I've been using it for years and you can tell because it's like pretty nasty. To, to be honest, um, but you can use this. I've seen people use socks uh, for people who knit and crochet. They even like knit and crochet their own little, little slip cover thing for this. I mean, in reality, you can really put anything underneath this, right? An old t-shirt, old towel, just Velcro it together. It's not, um, it's not that difficult. So uh, that's the first thing I wanted to mention about the Swiffer Wet Jet and then the second thing is this refill thing. So they make it extremely difficult for you to open this cap. There's a locking mechanism in there that prevents you from really opening it. And it's kind of it's kind of like those medicine bottles where there's a little bit of a lock and you know there's a lock, but you can't quite figure out how to open it. Um, so I've thought over the years, I've always wanted to just keep refilling this, you know, and diluting it um, because they are expensive to replace. And I thought that, hey, you know, I could just carve a little hole here and then refill it up here and then just kind of like tape it shut or use a cork. Um, an old cork from like a wine bottle and just kind of, you know, seal it shut and then I can reuse it over and over again. Um, but then I was doing some research online and I'm actually gonna link the original video um, just to give this person credit uh, because without her, I wouldn't have known this hack. And so what she did was she took this bottle, she boiled water and then she flipped it upside down and put it into the water for 90 seconds. And then supposedly she was able to open it. And I was like, no, 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 no. That's that. There's no way that could work, right? So I had to test it out on my own. And I have to say this morning, I was like super eager to do it too, because I was just like, there's no way. I did it. I boiled the water. I put it in for 90 seconds. It did not work. I did it again, another 90 seconds, still didn't work, still didn't work, still didn't work. And then eventually I just boiled it for two and a half minutes. And um, and I put, you know, a towel over it so I didn't burn myself. And lo and behold, look at that, it opens. And you can see how um, part of the plastic on the inside, so there are grooves here. So these grooves here, they're the grooves that's keeping it locked in place. and a part of it has been melted um, and the rest of the cap has not been melted because I haven't put it in long enough but these thinner grooves um, they can't be more than like I don't know a millimeter thick it's it's pretty thin those melted and just got rid of the locking me mechanism and now look it opens and closes and I wanted to see oh is that going to affect the, the cap, is it going to leak? And it does not. So I'm so excited about this. Um, I am gonna miss this scent. I really do like this scent, but heck, I mean, I can get a whole big thing of vinegar um, or other cleaning supplies from like the dollar store or something and just add some water to it and maybe some baking soda. And I have my own cleaning solution for this Swiffer WetJet thing for 
a fraction, small fraction of the price. But anyway, I just really, I was really excited to share this with you guys because I know um, a lot of you watching are super frugal and um, maybe wouldn't even have bought one of these guys to begin with. And uh, it does use battery, so um, it uses it uses four AA batteries. But this one I've had, I'm, I can't believe I'm even admitting this online, but I actually found this in the trash. Somebody was moving out and I found it um, on like some street in Manhattan on like the Upper East Side. And I've had it for years and years and it still works. Um, so for those of you who are still using a traditional mop, that's great, you know, keep using it if you really like it. But I personally do not like traditional mops because it hurts my hands. I sound like a wimp, but uh, it hurts my hands to kind of wring it. And then you have to bend down um, in the bathtub and then you're like hurting your back and all that stuff. So this is a great solution, you guys. I mean, I don't particularly always condone going out and buying things, but buy a Swiffer wet jet <laughs> and use this hack and you will end up saving a lot of money and you will save your back and your hands. Like maybe, you know, if you're a little older, it's, it's really hard to wring out water like that. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this really quick, short update video. Um, pinch a penny and uh, let me know how you save money cleaning the floor or mopping or do you have a Swiffer wedge yet? Have you always wanted to refill it? Now you can. Bye!